Hello future doctors welcome to Dipenism I am Dr Dipen Shah and we are discussing about the division Bryophyta under Kingdom Plantae and in my last video we had discussed about the life cycle of Bryophyta which was haplodiplontic type I also want to explain you diagrammatically about the life cycle as we have mentioned the dominant generation is the gametophytic generation and the gametophytic generation consists of false roots the false roots we have mentioned it already that is the rhizoids then it consists of stem like structure and it consists of the leaf like structures then from this the generation that is present is the gametophytic generation which produces the male sex organ the male sex organ is the anthridia and that produces the male gamete that is the anthrozoites suppose i am showing this to be a bisexual plant which also contains the female sex organ which is the archegonia and this anthridia and archegonia are going to produce the male gametes and the female gametes respectively that is the anthrozoites and the egg cell and the male gamete is going to swim through the water and reach up to the female gamete where due to the process of fertilization zygote is going to produce and that zygote is now going to develop into the embryo and that produces the sporophyte which consists of foot like structure aseta and capsule so this structure that is formed that is the capsule so this entire part is now known as the sporophytic generation so as you can observe the sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte but sometimes it can be semi independent as well which we will be discussing in different classes of bryophyte but to explain the life cycle now inside the capsule which is present it contains the spore mother cells which are going to be deployed and the spore mother cells undergo meiosis to produce spores and during favorable condition the capsule is ruptured which is known as the dehiscence of capsule and that releases the spores onto the soil the spores are going to germinate depending on whether it is direct or indirect germination we have discussed the direct and indirect germination part in my previous video and once the germination starts it again produces the gametophytic generation with root like stem like leaf like structure there will be formation of male sex organ female sex organ anthridia archegonia produces the respective gametes that is anthrozoites and egg zygote which forms the sporophyte foot seta and capsule and then capsule again produces the spores spores are dispersed so that is how the life cycle goes on continuing but the major dominant phase is the gametophytic generation and the sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte gametophyte always is haploid sporophyte is always diploid in nature so that is how the life cycle can be observed this diagram which i have made this is with reference to funeria stay tuned for my next video where we'll be discussing about different classes of bryophyta thank you and that's all from dipenism